Well, we've all been sitting around arguing about The Last Jedi on Twitter and talking about the Halloween 2018 timeline, Mike Dougherty has been plugging away at his sequel to 2014's Godzilla remake reboot thing. And while that movie definitely wasn't a barn burner by any means, based on the still we got from EW today, it's looking like King of the Monsters is going to be an awesome movie. The big thing we have to talk about is this still of Godzilla shooting his atomic breath up into the night sky, lighting it up for all to see, and it is perfect. It is just so good looking. And while this ability is nothing new even in this universe, because we did get to see it at the climax of 2014's Godzilla, it was pretty underwhelming, kind of like an irradiated cough. <coughs> 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 This movie picks up five years after the last Godzilla movie, and that makes sense because by the time it's released, it'll have been five years. And from what Dougherty told EW, it really seems like people aren't cool with monsters walking around, and they're really actually kind of scared. He said the world is reacting to Godzilla in the same way we would react to any other terrifying incident, in that we are overreacting. But there's paranoia and endless speculation about whether he is the only one out there and whether we're threatened by the others of his kind. Honestly, I get what he's going for, but I kind of think that paranoia is warranted as we know that Kong is still alive on Skull Island and that it's been confirmed in this movie that not only will we see Rodan and Mothra but we'll also get to see King Ghidorah so yeah I think people have a pretty good reason to be scared. So I know the thing we're all really excited for in this movie is to watch Godzilla take the crown from King Ghidorah as King of the Monsters by kicking the shit out of him but personally I'm really excited to see Mothra in this movie but the big point is that we're going to get to see way more monsters in this movie than the last one and I think that's important because while Kong Skull Island had terrible characters and a pretty bad plot, I did not leave the theater disappointed because of how many fight scenes between Kong and weird dino lizards there were in that movie. So it shows that when you have more monsters, you have a better movie. This movie is also bringing its A-game in terms of celebrities. We've got Vera Farmiga, we've got Millie Bobby Brown, we've got O'Shea Jackson, and Kyle Chandler. But in Kong Skull Island, like I just mentioned, that really didn't mean anything, so don't use that as a barometer of quality. So basically, Monarch is the good guys in this movie. They're the ones studying the monsters, they're trying to protect them and make sure that they all aren't killed off, and that just makes a whole lot of sense. Vera Farmiga is playing Dr. Emma Russell and she works for Monarch, but a secret organization that we haven't learned about yet kidnaps her and her daughter Madison, who's being played by Eleven. And as Farmiga puts it, she has figured out a way to communicate with the creatures and potentially control them using their bioacoustics on a sonar level. So she's like a DJ for the monsters. So I can already tell this is basically going to boil down to Vera Farmiga's character getting captured by the bad guys because of capitalism and they want to use the monsters like Pokemon, but because they're using the monsters like Pokemon, Pokemon, that means we're going to get to see more fight scenes. So maybe Godzilla will fight Mothra, or maybe he'll fight Mothra and Rodan, or maybe they'll all team up against King Ghidorah, because once the good guys get Vera Farmiga back, they're going to put Godzilla against King Ghidorah and also Mothra and Rodan, because they can control them like Pokemon. That's, that's the point here. They can control the monsters like Pokemon. And the final thing we need to bring up here is that the reason this movie really needs to do well is so King Kong versus Godzilla doesn't get canceled. Adam Wingard is directing that movie. He's working on it right now. Now, and I really need that movie to become real because even though he directed Blair Witch and Death Note, which I know people weren't too hot on, he did direct Your Next, he did direct The Guest, and he also directed some segments in VHS 1 and 2, and all of it was amazing. So I feel like he really deserves this shot to make King Kong vs. Godzilla. But because this Godzilla movie is going to be part of the Monsterverse, which is a terrible name for an MCU copycat thing, that means there's probably going to be a few references to King Kong in it. And I guess it's going to be pretty light because Mike Dougherty had this to say. It's not like we're bending over backwards to introduce Kong, but there's definitely some breadcrumbs. At the end of the day, things are actually looking up for the Monsterverse, as bad as that title is, because even though Godzilla had too many humans and not enough Godzilla, Kong Skull Island had not enough humans and just enough King Kong. So I feel like Mike Dougherty is the perfect guy to find that happy balance between the two different sides of the coin. Because you know, he directed Krampus and Trick or Treat, which are both perfect examples of him doing just that. So yeah, even though the Avengers equivalent of this monsterverse is King Kong versus Godzilla, this really does feel like a pivotal point for the franchise as a whole. Because if this doesn't do well, I feel like people really aren't going to turn up for King Kong versus Godzilla. I mean, they did turn up for Batman versus Superman and Suicide squad for the most part, but then we could end up with the Justice League situation where people are finally fed up with not getting really great movies and just getting good ones. So I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see until next year. I honestly forgot this movie was coming out next year, but after seeing that screenshot, 
man, am I excited for it. It feels like they're directly addressing the fans who were upset with Godzilla 2014, and I really hope they are. But I'd love to hear what you think of all this down in the comments below. And again, if you saw my Victor Crowley VHS, you can pick these up tomorrow on WitterEntertainment.com, and I will link that down in the description. My friend Broke Horror Fan, well, his name's Alex, but his website is Broke Horror Fan. He made these, and they are absolutely amazing. But yeah, guys, as always, my name is Jimmy Champagne, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.